Today, I want to talk about how to measure the uh, electrical parameters in AC circuit. Mm. The instruments I will use uh, are right here. Uh, the phase angle meter, the variac as the power supply, the watt meter and the voltmeter, the power resistor and this, um, uh, this uh, NILV system. The phase angle, first I will introduce the phase angle meter. As you can see, there are two voltage inputs of the phase angle meter. One is called V1T and the other V2T. So the phase angle meter can measure both the frequency of V1T and the phase difference between these two voltages. You can, you can select the, the function it performs by toggle this switch right here. And the variac is, uh, is very simple to use. It is just used as the power supply. By turning this knob clockwisely, you can increase the output voltage value. And the wattmeter, the analog wattmeter and the voltmeter are mounted in bank of the of the three meters. And note that the wattmeter has two um, has has both the current coil and the potential coil. The current coil is just connected as the as the way of of uh, ammeter, and the potential coil is just used uh, just used like a, a voltmeter. And this is the power resistor with value with resistance of 150 ohms. Mm. And uh, then I will introduce the NIRV system. As you can see, the NIRV system is act, uh, is actually composed of three parts. And the this white part is called the benchtop workstation, and this 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 board on top of it is called Protag board, and uh, it also has a software that's supporting this system. I will introduce the software later. Mm. Okay, so mm, let's start constructing the circuit. First, I will show the the schematic of this circuit here, and then I will connect this circuit in our lab. So first, uh, and also uh, before connecting the constructing the circuit, I will use. Uh, I need to notify that I will use the red cable to indicate the power supply, which means uh, which means one end of this red cable will be connected to the power supply, and I will use this. I will use the black cable for ground connection, and I will use. Uh, the green cables mm, for the uh, other connections. So first, I will connect the mm, the positive. Uh, uh, I will connect the positive terminal of the variac to the uh, to the pin here. A pin to the pin marked A here. So the current goes in to this pin and uh, comes out from the comb pin and then it goes into goes into the one end of the resistor then it comes out and goes into the car the positive terminal of the current coil and it comes out and uh, goes back to the ground terminal of the variac. So till now, I've finished the constructed the current loop. Next, I will connect the potential coil in parallel with the resistor so that I can measure the active power of the resistor. And then, I will connect the um, the volt the pins uh, the terminals of the voltmeter in parallel with the uh, potential coil of the voltmeter, and this connection is equal to connect 
the terminals of, of the voltmeter in parallel with the resistor. And, and then I will add the phase ammeter in the circuit. I will connect uh, I will connect V1T to the power supply to the variac and I will connect I will connect V2T in parallel with the resistor. The reason that I connect in this way is because the the voltage the voltage going through uh, the the, the voltage uh, across the resistor it has the same phase as the current going through the same resistor. So by connecting in this way, I can measure the the phase difference between the um, voltage and the current in this circuit. So at last, I will connect the USB cable of the IV uh, system to the computer. So I'm done with the with constructing the circuit. Then I will then I will um, turn on the power of the instruments. Note that the, the power switch of the benchtop workstation is, is at the back of the workstation. It's here. And then it shows that the USB is ready. This LED indicates that the USB connection is ready. Then I will open the Elvis. Then I, I will go to the start menu um, uh, and uh, select the uh, select the NI Elvis MX instrument launcher to open the the software. As you as you can see, uh, a menu of the of the, all the virtual instruments within this system in, 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 is popped up. In, in this experiment, I will select only the DMM. So click on this, click on this icon, and this, win this, this window will be shown. Mm. We will use the DMM as the emitter, so connect the AC current button. Then, Click on the run button, and then the the current the value of the current in this circuit will be shown here. So we can monitor the current in, in real time. And next, I will increase the output voltage value slowly until the 0.4 ammeter, uh, 0.4 uh, ampere is uh, reached. It's hard to get exactly 0.4 ampere. It's okay to get a, a, a value appro approximating um, 0.4. Then let's uh, let's get let's um, get the value of the of the of the of the frequency of V1T. As you can see here, the frequency of, of the power supply uh, is uh, 60 hertz. And the phase difference between the voltage and the current is zero degree. And you can also read the read the active power value here. It shows uh, the active power is about twenty four watts, and the voltage is about sixty sixty volts. So till now, I've already got all the parameters I need and then I can use the the voltage across the 
a resistor and the current going through this resistor to measure the actual the resist to measure the actual resistance and then I can compare compare the calculated value with the given value of 150 ohms and calculate the person difference between these two values. I can also use the equation Vi cosine phi to calculate the active power in this circuit and compile it with the voltmeter reading here. So that's all for today's uh, experiment.